Hi, this is Chuck Benedict, mentor for Team 997 Spartan Robotics in Corvallis, Oregon. Thought I would do another video in this series of uh, vision processing to walk through how to use grip to find uh, blue racquetballs. That's the pipeline that is in the sample application that I've described in, in prior videos. And I thought it would be useful to recreate the grip file that exists in the project so that you just get an idea of how it is, how easy it is to use grip to um, create an uh, image processing pipeline. So let's get started. First of all, download the grip application from their website and you can find the link to their website in the comments of the video. Once you do that, you'll be presented, when you, when you start the application, you'll present it with uh, kind of a blank canvas that looks like this. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add the source of our webcam. I happen to have uh, two cameras plugged in, the one that I'm recording this on and then another camera that has the racquetballs in it. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then when I click this little eye icon, you can see that I have my, uh, my racquetballs here. Next thing that we're going to want to do, and you'll notice that there's writing on these racquetballs and there's noise. You see kind of this you know noise going on here. We want to kind of filter that out as best we can. So we're going to use uh, an image processing primitive called blur. So I'll do a little search and I'll pick blur and we will hook up the image from the webcam to the blur primitive and then we'll turn on the eyeball here and we're going to select Gaussian blur and we're going to pick four and I've tried these out prior to the video so that we kind of know ahead of time what, what works best, but I went through and experimented with these things a little bit and uh, kind of found the best values for our, our purpose. Okay, uh, next thing is, is um, we want to uh, try to get closer to just viewing the three balls here and filter out the rest of this stuff that's on my desk. So we're going to use what's called an HSL threshold. What that does is that segments out the images based on hue, saturation, and luminance ranges. So uh, we're going to hook this up. And we're going to turn that on. And we're going to get rid of the intermediate one. And then we're going to set some values here. So I found uh, somewhere in the range of 92 for hue uh, and a saturation value of 108 worked pretty well. So as you can see, we've got, you know, we're getting closer to finding three uh, blobs on the screen. And uh, so next, next we want to do is we want to use a mask. So, you know, you'll notice that we've lost the color. So ultimately what, what our objective is, is to find the two blue balls that are on the screen here and not the third red ball. Uh, so now we're going to hook up this primitive called a mask. And in effect, what we want to do is we want to take, we want, we want to get the color of the balls back onto this uh, canvas here. So what we're going to do is take the original image and we're going to use the output of this HSL threshold as the mask to filter out everything except the color from the three balls that are here. So if we drag this over here as to be used as the mask and then turn this on, now what we get is an image that looks like this. So you can see that the work that we've done to clean up the image uh, has mostly worked and we have the color of our three balls back. Next thing that we want to do is we want to filter out the red ball so that we're left with the blue balls. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an RGB threshold. Red stands for red, green, blue. And we're going to hook this up. And we're going to filter out uh, mostly the red color um, by sliding these sliders over. Uh, oops, I guess I should turn this on and turn this off. So 
I found that green, the green threshold of about 14 works pretty well. And the blue threshold around 46 ish works pretty well. Okay. So that's, that's pretty good. We've got two solid uh, blue balls here. And so the next, uh, the next primitive to use finally is fine blobs. And so the fine blobs prim primitive basically looks for a, a grouping of uh, pixels of all same and filters those out. So we'll get rid of that. So this is the result of the fine blobs. Now you'll notice a bunch of dots flowing here and we can get rid of that by increasing the minimum area of the blob that we're trying to find. And we do put that at 150. Now it's doing a, a really good job uh, already of finding circularity uh, here. I found that if we increase it though a little bit that uh, if you move the ball off the frame, you know, as the ball uh, stops becoming circular, um, you know, it, it, it basically stops identifying it. So there you have it. We've gone from an image like this to finding two blobs on the screen of our blue racquetballs. Uh, and also notice that the autofocus is quite annoying here. I haven't figured out how to turn it off yet. There's probably a way, but for the purposes of this demo, it's not really important. I hope that you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.